have, she's walking. Yeah. Now, are alligators solitary creatures, or they run in packs? And They're solitary. They don't hang out in groups. Interesting. Now, the only time they truly get together is mating, food source, or survival, and survival being fresh water. As you look, she's got her head in the mud. She's kind of swinging it from side to side. She's looking for anything to touch her teeth or her tongue. And now, do uh, do alligators, full-size alligators, can they eat your phone out? The thing is, a six-foot python against that six-foot alligator, a python's going to win that fight 95% of the Real. time. Real. Wow. He may not be able to eat that alligator. He's going to kill it as a threat. Get a video for the kids. Yeah. I got a video. I'll send it to you. But it is pretty cool to see them this close. Yeah, yeah. absolutely it is. Especially in their natural. And habitat. this is all natural, yes ma'am. But eventually when we lose enough water and salinity gets in here, guys, all our alligators are gone. And that's when our birds normally show up. Every single corner you go around, there's actually rosiest spoonbills, wood storks, white ibis, gray blue herons, gray white egrets. And another reason why I tell people not to sit in the front, you do get pooped on a lot. <laughs> what happens when you scare a bird? They poop. Now, she's not doing too bad missing that right front leg. She is missing the entire right front leg. Really? See how she kind of goes? Oh. And that's, they lose limbs, parts of their tail, fighting with other alligators and probably trying to protect her babies. Oh, that's so sad. But her slowing her heartbeat down to go into a hibernation saved her life. She won't bleed to death. Wow. That's amazing. Alligators can do a lot of things with that marble-sized brain. I mean... <laughs> 